Okay, guys, so final episode of how to use paint. Um, let's see. So last time I talked about shapes. This time I'm going to talk about, well, everything else. Let's see. Oh, I completely forgot about this. Okay, so this is the status bar down here. I explained what everything does. This is a zoom bar. That's the only thing I didn't say. I can have there be grid lines, so like... If I zoom in really far, I can say, okay, I want this pixel and that pixel and that pixel to be black and that one and that one and that one and that one. I guess those two. But yeah, that that's the basic idea. Okay. So, um... Okay. We're just going to delete all that. Okay. And then there's one other one. There's rulers. So like this is like 300 pixels by 200 pixels on the x and y axis, and that's about where that is. So you can kind of like you can kind of tell. Like it's kind of like the it's kind of like what um, this one down here does. So like okay, so this one ended there. So like I want it to end exactly there. And I think that was actually exactly there. I'm not sure, though. I kind of want to check. Ah, I was close enough. Anyways, so yeah, that's that's what those three do. I usually only have the status bar on because it's not really in the way. Like, this kind of takes away of the room that you use. And this one, it's grid lines. So it's like, it, it kind of, it can get annoying. So, yeah. Actually, that was kind of cool. If you look at that part, actually, no, I'm going to do that if you look at that part it kind of looks like it says go anyways the last two it doesn't want me to do a thumbnail for some reason but you can view it in full screen and say okay this is what it would look like on somebody's screen and then you click or press any button and it'll get you out of it thumbnail is like it's kind of like a little window only you you only have the X button that you can use so yeah and it just kind of shows you in the same kind of way. Okay. Oh, forgot to take grid lines off. Okay. So now we are going we are going to look at the select. Now select is really cool. I can't remember how to do crop. I can't remember. Oh, that's what it does. Okay. So like, let's just say that I have a bunch of stuff like that, and I only want the gray circle. What I can do is I can select most of that and then click on crop and it will set that as what it is. So that's kind of cool. Okay. Oh, by the way, select is where you can select it and move it around. So yeah, like let's just say that it go that I don't want it here, I want it right there. You know, why not? So yeah. There's also another version of this. It's called the freeform. That one was called the rectangular and this is called the freeform. This one, let's just say that I want, like, stuff that looks like goggles. It'll only take this, uh, actually, um, really fast. I'm just going to do that so that I can actually tell. Okay, so let's just say that I want, like, goggles or something. There, now I have goggles over there. Yeah. So, what I can also do is I can do select all, although that doesn't really do much like I guess it does because you basically select the whole thing and then you can say okay I only want this part so yeah um kind of a weird thing though like let's just say that I do this and then I move it over here and then I move it over here and then I move it over here if I hit curl Z it'll just take it right back to where it was at the beginning so yeah it's kinda weird anyways let's just say that I'm not happy with how small that little green thing is. So I can hit resize. Now this has a ton of things, okay? I can see how big it is if I click on the pixels, how many horizontal pixels it takes up, which is 43, how many vertical, which is 25. Um, and basically I can edit these. Now the cool thing that this has is there are two kind of main settings so like let's just say that I want to make it 430 it'll also change this to be 250 10 times of what it used to be 
unless I hit this checkbox. Let's just say that I want it to stay that tall. If I hit OK, it'll do that. Otherwise, if I do resize and then times it by 10, it will increase both of them. Okay? Now, percentage is about the same thing. So, like, I have somewhere around here selected. What I can do, actually, I think I do. No, I don't. Okay. Um, so, what I can do is, let's just say that I want this to be less of what it is. Like, this is more of a rough, like, I'm estimating that I want it to be about 67% as much as it is right now. So, then I can do it like that. But then the um, pixels are a lot more, like, they're a lot more precise. That's the word I'm looking for. Now, this thing, skew. Oh, I forgot about that. I should have done that. Okay, anyway, sorry. Let's just say that I want it to, I want part of the bottom to stay, I wonder if I can do negative. Yes, I can. That's cool. Nope. Oh, I can only do negative 89. All right, negative 89. So, whoa, that was weird. All right, we're not going to do that. We're going to instead resize, and we're just going to do like 14 and 14. Okay, so now it's kind of a rhombus shape, which is kind of cool. Now, let's just say, before I go on to rotate, which is pretty simple, I can invert the selection and then move all of this around. That's actually pretty cool. I did not know that. Um, we're going to invert the selection again, though. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we can delete it by hitting the delete thing right here. Or we can make it a transparent selection, meaning that all of the second, all of the things in the second color are invisible. So that means that I can move this anywhere here. I'll I'll make it a lot easier by like doing this really fast. Okay? Yeah, sometimes it does weird things. All right, solid color. Okay? So let's just say that I select that and oh, I forgot something. Okay? Boom, 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 boom. Okay? And then just a little squiggly thing out there. Okay. What I can do is I can select this, and if I... Oops. I hate it when that happens. Okay. And then if I have this transparent selection set checked, the second color will be invisible, although that didn't work. I don't know why. Yeah, there we go. I don't know why it wasn't working like that. But basically... As you can see, I have all of that selected, and yet it's not showing up because that's the second color, whereas the black part will. Everything else will not. So it's kind of cool like that. I'm going to check the time because I'm kind of worried. All right, eight minutes. Wow. All right. Rotate. I'm just going to briefly cover. You can rotate it 90 degrees to the right or 90 degrees to the left. You can rotate it in 180 degrees. You can flip it vertically or horizontally. And that actually got it to the exact same place. Okay, anyways. Um, and then, um, what you can also do is you can copy it or cut it, and then you can paste it and move it around, and it's kind of cool. So yeah, I'm just going to stop that right now. So yeah, that, yeah, it's cool. Anyways, so the colors have a really cool feature where these are just the main presets. So like, if I like that color, I can use that color. Um, here, we're actually just going to open a new one. Don't save. Okay, let's just say that I like that color and that color going together. So boom, 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 boom. Let's just say that I want, I actually, yeah, I have a little bit of time. Okay, boom, boom. Let's just say that I want another kind of green, but there aren't any greens here. So what I can do is like, oh, actually, hold on. We're going to do that and then edit. What it does is when you hit edit custom colors, whichever color you have selected, either color 2 or color 1, I have color 2, you can change it based on that, or you can 
you know, move it around like I was just doing. But you can, like, change how dark it is. So, like, let's just say that I like how these three kind of go together. Oh, that was the wrong. So, like that. Let's just say that I kind of like that. That actually is kind of cool. Um, yeah, that's kind of what Edit Colors does. Um, yeah. That's basically it. I hope I didn't go over time. No, I didn't. So, yeah, it's really cool. And actually, if you want to, you can, like, edit the hue. So, like, if you know how, what all of this means, you know. Actually, hue is the x-axis. Saturation is the y-axis. And lum, I think, is the darkness. Yeah. And then red is how much red in is, green is, how much green is, is, is in it. And blue is how much blue is in it. So, yeah, that's basically all of paint. So, yeah. I will see you guys on whatever thing I do next. Peace out.